So I've gone back to the page that I built by hand. It's not as pretty as the other pages, but again, it's really quick and really easy to add new sections and add-ons to it. But in this video, we're going to talk about tools. Now we've already covered layouts when we built the first page, really simple. Again, there's all of the categories and there's the different layouts that we could choose in order to just add that to a page. Now this layout will completely overwrite whatever you've done before. So again, be careful. Thankfully, again, unlimited undos. In the tools menu, I have page settings, my sections, my add-ons, import, export, empty content, and add to menu. In the page settings, I have the title for the page that I'm working on. I can update it to a category, change the language, and change the access. I can add some meta description and keywords, which is always important. And if I'm using Open Graph, I can add those here, as well as any custom CSS for this particular page. I can't tell you how huge that is. We don't have to mess with our actual templates. If I click on my sections, it's going to have a list of all the sections that I've saved. Well, how do I do that? Well, really simple. I'm going to take this section and click the Save button. And I'm going to call this my Goldwing section. Click Apply. And now the Goldwing section is available to me across any page that I might build. So if I delete it here, I can just click and drag and drop it again. This is terrific if you have a whole bunch of sections that you want to be able to reuse across your site and not have to rebuild. Similarly, you can do the same thing with add-ons. Let's come down here to this add-on, which is just a text block, as you remember. I'm going to click Save and go Standard Text Block. Click Apply. And now if I click on my add-ons, there it is. Click, drag, drop, done. What about import and export? Well, let's demonstrate that by creating a new page. And I'm going to just call this demo import page. So creative, I know. Click leave. I don't worry about saving those changes. And I'm going to go to tools, import, and it's going to look for any JSON file that has been exported from a different page using SP Page Builder. And it's as simple as that. This is a page from a site that I did for a speaking engagement I was doing where I live. And you can see that the entire page is imported, including this image, which is actually from SP Page Builder. So there's the text, the button, and all of the sections that were either active or hidden. If I click Save, and close, there's my page imported from a completely different website. Fantastic. Now let's say I want to export a page. Well, I'm going to click on Pages. I'm going to go to my home page. And I'll click on Tools and Export. And it's done. The template file has been downloaded, and now I can take that and move that anywhere else, or even embed it in the same website if I want. Lastly, empty content, well, does exactly what we talked about earlier. It's going to empty the entire page, and then add to menu. We've already demonstrated, but quickly, let me go back to my, my demo import page. Click on Tools, Add to Menu, and call it Demo. Add to Menu. Once again, clicking Save here is important. Close. And here's my demo page. So you can actually create, manage, edit, do everything you need from the front end with SP Page Builder. I can't recommend it enough. It's way easier to edit these pages from the front end than it is the back end. And so that's the Tools menu and a quick look at how you can manage all of your pages. Lastly, here in the Pages menu, I can preview, edit, or delete and manage all of the pages that I've created with SP Page Builder.